Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm Sarah from Sarah's Nail Secrets. Today I just wanted to show you some swatches of the Glam and Glitz Glow Collection. They just released 24 more and sent me 12 to try early. I'll be sharing my favorites with you and compare some of their hot pinks and reds. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first color I'm going to show you guys is Ray of Sunshine. So this is what it looks like in the container. It's kind of a minty Tiffany color. So I wanted to compare this to Vanessa, but I've actually run out of Vanessa. So I'm gonna compare this to Obsessive Compulsive and show you guys the difference in colors here. So Ray of Sunshine's a little bit darker than Obsessive Compulsive, but it's kind of in between Vanessa, which I don't have, unfortunately. So I'm gonna swatch this for you and then I'll show you what it looks like glow in the dark. So this is how this one turned out. Really pretty bluey green color, turquoise. It glows like a blue color. So I'm gonna show you that right now and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this is what Ray of Sunshine looks like. It is a nice bright blue and it glows quite intense. In person it's a little bit more than in my camera, so that's pretty cool. The next color I wanted to show you guys is called Smoke and Mirrors. So it's a pretty gray color that goes orange, that glows orange. So that's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna compare it to Glam and Glitz Gray Gray. This is Gray Gray. So Gray Gray has a bit of a nice like shimmery color to it, whereas this one's more of a matte color. So I'm just going to swatch them right here and I'll show you the difference. I feel like this this like hurts me inside to waste the colors because I just love them so much. But as you can see, they're very similar grays. This one is obviously matte and this one is shiny. So if you're looking to get a gray and you have a budget, um, I would suggest maybe going for the, the glow in the dark one. Not that everyone wants glow in the dark, but just the fact that it's not shimmery and it's a matte color and people are only gonna have it glow at nighttime. So that doesn't really matter. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for a gray from Glam and Glitz, I highly recommend the Smoke and Mirror. So I'm just gonna swatch this and show you what that looks like. So here's Smoke and Mirrors when it's all swatched and done. I think it's like the perfect gray color when people ask for gray. I feel like this color is exactly what people are looking for. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like as it glows in the dark and we'll come back and do the next swatch. So this is what Smoke and Mirrors looks like. It's really hard to see in the lighting in my camera. It's actually quite orange. It's not as bright as Ray of Sunshine, but it is uh, an obvious orange in person. So the next color I'm gonna show you guys is Lightning Blue. It's a really nice kind of periwinkle blue color. It matches my drill, which is the Manny Pro Koopa. And I don't actually have another color that from Glam and Glitz that's even remotely similar. So I was really excited when they sent me this because I don't actually have this color yet. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like here. It's nice and pretty. And then I'm gonna swatch it. So here's Lightning Blue. As you can see in my stick here, the tones of different colors that show up. I can't really fix that when I'm doing it inside of these nails, but when you're doing this on a client, you would do one layer and if this happened, you could swipe some more on top and it would hide this two-tone look. Cause that's not actually supposed to happen. It's just cause I can't mix it well enough when it's inside here. It's a really pretty periwinkle and it doesn't really have a super noticeable shimmer to it. So it is a little bit shimmery. Some of the colors they have appear a little shimmery but they're actually when they're placed on they're not shimmery so this is what it looks like and I'll show you what that looks like when it glows blue okay so this is what lightning blue looks like it's very bright it is very blue not much I can really say other than it speaks for itself in this camera the next color is your space shell and it is a nice purple I do not have one like this already in glam and glitz all the purples I have right now from glam and glitz are more of a darker tone like a, a lot darker I'm just gonna swatch these because I feel as though people really like to see that so this one is boardwalk over here to the right and this one is this one is surf so this is boardwalk boardwalk is like a shimmery, almost metallic purple. Surf is a solid matte dark purple. Your spatial is a lot, a lot more mauvey of a purple than the two of these. Which out of these three is your favorite? 
I think that this one's my favorite. But I really like shimmery colors in general because they apply really nicely. So boardwalk, a boardwalk would apply really nicely. So I'm just gonna swatch this again and show you what that looks like. So here's what that looks like. It's got like a blue undertone, it's a little bit shimmery. I really like this color a lot because I don't have anything in my collection like this, even any of my other colors and any other brands I don't really have something like this. And I know it's just a purple, but it's just the, every little, every you can never have too many of any color. So it's always good to have lots of options for your clients. So I'll show you what this looks like, glow in the dark, and we'll come right back. This is your very special. It's very hard to see. This is actually probably one of my least glowing ones, but it's quite pretty in general, so that's okay. So next we have is Afterglow from the Glow Collection at Glam & Glitz. It's a cream color. It says it right on top which ones they are, if they're cream or if they're shimmer. Um, so this one is a cream and it's just a plain white, but it glows purple. So here's that. It's actually quite a bright white. Um, right now, currently I use Elite Bright White and it holds up just as bright as that one. So um, I really like this, but not everyone's gonna like glow in the dark, but I still, I think it's pretty cool. I've used it quite a bit already. So I'm just gonna show you this glowing and this one's glows quite intense so that's pretty cool I'm gonna show you that and then we'll come right back and this is what afterglow looks like it is amazing it is so bright uh, it's probably one of my favorite ones it's just white but it glows so 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 purple so I'd start I thought I'd start showing you a, a couple of the glitter ones here um, this one's a glittery red this one just glows red basically. The clear in it glows. But if you can look closely, it, it's got a bit of um, a holographic sparkle to it, just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to move my light a little bit so you can see that. Okay, so now you can definitely see that there. Can you see that? So I'm going to swatch this. Okay, so here's what that looks like. You could fade this and you could layer the red and um, when you pull it down, uh, this clear would mix in with whatever color you were fading it with and the whole nail would glow. So I'm just gonna show you that glowing in the dark and um, yeah. And this is Scattered Embers. So this is that red glows quite orange and it's quite bright and vibrant. So I think that's pretty cool. That'll look really cool if you faded that. The next I'm going to show you is called Stardust, so this is also a glitter color, so I make sure to shake them really well before I open them up. So here's what that looks like. This is um, like a red and a black and a white, and then it's got clear glitter, and it's supposed to glow blue. So it's got some of these, oh, it's, uh, sorry, it's more pink and light pink and black. So this one I like a little bit better than Scattered Embers because it's uh, got a lot more glitter added to it. So can you see that? It's more, these are more from their matte glitter collection where none of these actually shine like the glittery ones do. It's more of a matte sparkle, so just pieces of matte glitter, I guess. Glitter to me sounds like it's actually shining glittery, but you know what I mean. So here's what Stardust looks like, and I like that a lot better. This is still wet, so I think it'll dry a little bit. Um, less opaque right now. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. I think it'd be also a cool faded color or done over a whole nail you could do you could match some of these uh, matte colors with the accent nails that you're gonna do or do like a 3d flower so yeah I'll show you what this looks like glowing and we'll come back and I'll go over some of the hot pinks this is what stardust looks like it is extremely bright white it is super cool I really like that you'll definitely be seen in the dark with this. okay so this one rekindle the spark I don't even know if I want to open it because you're just gonna go blind that's how freaking bright this is <sighs> Look at that. I have never seen a color this bright before ever. And I have a lot of pinks. I have every single pink I could possibly think of. I've mixed pigments together. I've done everything I can to make a color this bright. And this is beyond bright. So I wanted to compare this one. So I wanted to show you guys some of Glam & Glitz other pinks that they carry. So I have Ice Cream Pop and Berry Bliss. So I'm gonna say that this one's closer to Berry Bliss because Ice Cream Pop is more of a shimmer color, whereas Berry Bliss is definitely just a bright neon pink. Okay, so I'll show you these next to each other. This one's a shimmery, so this is Ice Cream Pop. If you guys can hear some noise in my background, I have white noise playing for my dogs so that they keep quiet. Whoa, and this is Berry Bliss. This one's more of a bit of a more corally, orangey hot pink. And then this one is Rekindle My Spark. 
Sorry, rekindle that spark. Oh yeah. Look at that. So bright. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this one and I'll show you what that looks like. Swatch. So here's Rekindle That Spark. And Rekindle That Spark has a shimmery silver in it, as you can see right here. But it's a little bit less noticeable when it's actually on the nail. So it looks quite shimmery, but it's actually just a subtle shimmer. The good thing about this really bright pink like this is I have clients who look at my gel polishes and say, oh, I wish you had acrylic like that because the gel polish is just so bright. But this one will definitely have my clients be like, whoa, look at that color. So I'm just gonna show you this glow in the dark because I'm pretty excited to see it glowing. So we'll do that and then we'll move on to red. This is my favorite one. It is extremely bright. This is Rekindle That Spark, hot, hot, hot pink turned bright orange in the dark. Okay, so this is a cream color, but it's called Infrared. It is just a nice um, red color. I actually really like this color. I was actually looking for a color like this. So I purchased Smoldering Plum in hopes to get a color that was close enough to that. And this is what Smoldering Plum looks like. And so I also wanted to show you um, a few of the other reds I have from Glam and Glitz because I've had a lot of people asking me questions about them. So this one is called Megan. And this one's called Kesha. And this one is Ruby. So I'm just gonna show you the difference in these because of everyone's requests on that. Um, so this is what Smoldering Plum looks like. And this is a new one called Infrared. It's very similar to Smoldering Plum, but it's a little bit lighter. This one is Megan. Megan is a little bit more sheer, so you, it's a color you'd need to build on top of or not have a dark color underneath it, like black. You'll wanna make sure you get all black off. And I just spilled that. Whoops, this one is Kesha. Um, this one was probably my most popular color up until I got Ruby, which I have to change the towel or fold the towel since I just spilt that like I always do. And so that's Kesha and this is what Ruby looks like. Ruby and Kesha are very similar. But if you can see in the, in the liquid um, how much more pink is in certain ones, like Ruby has a bit more pink of a tone and this one has a little bit more red. So if you're looking for Glam and Glitz most red color that I have, I would say it's Kesha and then Ruby. And then Smoldering Plum and Infrared are a little bit of a pinkier, plumier color. So hope this helps you see these. Maybe I should just swatch them all so you guys can see them. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so acrylic can be very deceiving in its in its package. This looks extremely pink and purple in here, but look how dark of a plummy kind of dark color it is when it's actually actually swatched. And then this is infrared. This is the new one. It's a bit pinkier. I've already used it on one client. I actually really loved the outcome. Um, I did it on a marble set. I'll post it right now. Um, this is Megan, so again, this is the sheer one that you could not do black underneath it. I've made that mistake before using some of these sheer colors. This one is Kesha. It is probably the most red, most popular one I have. And then this is Ruby, a uh, near second. So I hope that helps you guys with some of these reds from Glam and Glitz, helping you choose. These are all cream, cream colors. None of them have sparkle or shimmer to them. So this one I'm gonna do glow in the dark right now and I'll show you what that looks like. And here is infrared, super, super bright red in the dark. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Let me know if you're planning to pick up any of these colors and which one you're gonna get. And let me know in the comment section what else you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, bye.